We also have a comedian that went nuts and beat up one of his fans while he was performing. I got that footage for y'all too. So what? Larry, what? yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got it all, man. I got it all. I got it all. Where you want to start, Larry? Mari I, mean, with... I feel like we should just get this ass whooping out the way. Okay. So <laughs> so Larry wants to see the the con the comedic ass whipping um that just happened the other day. And it's with the big homie DC Young Fly. Take a look at this, my people. Sit back and we'll discuss it and break it down. He must have hit him quick because I didn't even see it. Well, I was going to say, Larry, they didn't show us the knockout, okay? They didn't show us the knockout. But I'm sure DC Young Fly um, is – he's probably amped because you saw what he said at the end about he's been stabbed, he's been traumatized, all that. But, right. ladies and gentlemen, there's a deeper subtext here. Let me break it down for y'all. I don't know if any of y'all watched the NBA. Oh, yeah. oh, Mike Willie said, guess that guy was really the punchline. See, you got jokes, Mike Willie. You, 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 Mike, Mike Willie got jokes, boy. Boy, Mike, this, this show ain't got enough room but for two people to have all the jokes. Now I'm playing, man. Oh, oh man. man. But anyway. I guess DC Fly really knocked it out. You know? Hey, man. Hey, His hey, jokes he, were killing. He was killing. <laughs> he, he broke a leg for real while he was on stage. Yeah. Talk about break a leg, but anyway, people, if you follow the NBA, a lot of people have been getting out of pocket toward the players, and it's racial. It, I mean, all this shit is racial. Spitting on players, throwing water bottles at players, calling them the N word, throwing dumping stuff popcorn at them, on them, dumping popcorn on Russell Westbrook, and it's just pure unadulterated disrespect and Larry you know I'm going to blame this right on President Trump for getting these people riled up to the point where they think they about it about it now they really yeah, they don't they realize that you can get touched like you can talk all that smack when you're on when you're online you can get up on parlor and talk all that craziness but when you take it into the real world there's real world consequences exactly and I feel like, you know, DC Young Fly has seen these attacks. And I don't know if the person in this situation was white or not because he got knocked out so fast. He hit him and must have punched him in the Ant-Man from the Avengers. He just said, you Trump. <laughs> you know? Like, what the hell happened? You went subatomic. <laughs> but, but Larry, put yourself in the, in the situation of being on stage. Your bodyguards aren't there. And somebody's able. Because that looked like that was more like a, a restaurant bar. That didn't look like your main arena because the fans were so close if you was a comic and somebody tried to rush the stage what would you have done oh he would have got touched no doubt dude would have got touched and, and and it is it looked like a typical sort of comedy club where it's small it's intimate the people are right there you know and right in front of the comedians where you know where somebody if they're not acting right they can very easily jump up on stage and and, and try and get at you mm -hmm. and so you know, I, it, I mean, we've been seeing all these reports. We saw a report of that woman, that 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 flight attendant on Southwest, who got two of her teeth knocked out because some crazy Karen went and punched her in the mouth a bunch of times. 
we've been seeing all kinds of stuff where people have literally lost their minds. They've been they've been locked up. They've been they they've lost their social skills because they haven't been dealing with other people on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Some of it is with Donald Trump up there gassing these people up, making them think that they can go out there and say and do anything without any consequences. Mm-hmm. And they have to remember, like they may be thinking, "Oh, I'm special. I'm white. The the law is not going to get me." You don't need to worry about the law. What you need to worry about is that individual right in front of you that may put a hole in your body. You know, or they're going to need- give you that two piece and a biscuit. Yeah. So I think it's just a lot of people out there now that have lost their social skills and they need to get them back. Right. And uh, and some people are just I mean, we we're in a very divisive, you know, time in this country right now. And a lot of people are just out there saying and doing whatever they feel like they want to do. And yeah. that doesn't play well with everyone. Like dude said, he's from the streets and he stays ready just in case. And dude tested him and he got and he got touched. Yeah, you know nothing else to say on that one, Seth. For go check out DC Young Fly. I caught him in Greensboro. Dude is hella funny, and he's approachable. So I, I'm, right. I mean, I had a chance to see him and get close to him. So I'm assuming that whoever rushed the stage must have really been threatened because DC Young Fly is very approachable. Um, and I will so, say this: if you if you go to a comedy club, unless you just want to get filleted, don't don't go up there trying to to. Don't try and mess with the comics. Don't get up there and try and uh, what do they call? It? Don't try and heckle them because mm-hmm. I can tell you right now, these first of all, they have a microphone and you don't. Right. And next, their career, their whole job is to be funny. Mm-hmm. And yours is it. Your job is probably to go and and be an accountant or deliver packages off of a truck or or teach school or something. You are doing something else besides making people laugh and the last thing you want to do is come at a comedian in his space in his time while he has a microphone you will get clowned and unless that's just what you're looking for i would just go ahead and laugh and and keep the jokes rolling i'll say this i've been known to sit in the front row i don't heckle unless you heckle me first and and (laughs) and i ain't scared to pick on no comedian i don't i don't got into it with um dl hewley now me and him, we we good. It wasn't like we got into it on some I hate you, you hate me. But we got into a back and forth about jokes. He was talking about my shoes and I was talking about his hair. And he thought it was funny. I mean, he to the point where he kind of got choked up on stage. And then afterwards, you know, he, he came and dapped me up. And then he, of course, he got the last word in because, like you said, my um um Larry, he got the mic. So of course he got the last word. In. But I had him laughing. So it right. is what it is. Check out DC Young Fly. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Larry's channel. Um, you can shoot me a cash app at Dollar Sign Life Gangs if you don't want to super chat. And you can super chat 